Namaste. For today's class, we're going to be using a yoga strap, a Pilates band, or a firm scarf. If you don't have any of these items, you can just uh, bring your arms into the position that mine is in and just imagine you have the band. So before we use our bands, we're going to bring ourselves to standing in mountain pose. Just set the band to one side, align with the breath. And the feet to the crown of the head, arriving in your space. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring the palms of the hands together in front of your heart center. Set your intention for your practice today. Breathe in naturally through the nostrils of your nose. Release your intention, release your arms. Let the arms swing, alternating across in front of the body. your arms to stillness and soft spinal twist releasing through the feet as you move let the arms start to wrap around the body classic drew yoga warm-up for the spine the simple movements for warming up are often the best Come back to centre with soft fists or relaxed fingers. Let the arms sway no higher than parallel to the earth. Side to side, elbows soft. The arms back down and start to shake you snap your fingers wrists elbows arms as high as you want to shaking maybe moving side to side zigzagging through the shoulders maybe a little bouncing of movement releasing side to side shifting the weight of the body and shaking out one leg and then the other alternating quickly or slowly, whatever pace works for you today. No judgment, just enjoying moving the body. Okay, we're gonna come back to Tadasan with our bands. So I'm folding my strap in half, because it's a long one, holding one end and just wrapping round maybe once or twice, just to bring it to a comfortable position just past shoulder width and as you breathe in from the position in front of the hips as you breathe in raising the band to no higher than parallel breathing out lowering find a still point with the gaze Start to increase the height of the movement if you want to, keeping the elbows slightly soft, no locking of any joints. Work within the boundaries of your body. Big or small, you could be seated on a chair for these movements modify the movements of the legs when we bring them in but still use the arms and the band as high as you want to 
or just the arms without a band. Now raising the band in front parallel, all the joints relax, shoulders back and down, circling, lead it from the fists of the hands. Keeping the hips stable, about eight in one direction. And the other. Release down, shake it up. We're going to breathe in, raise the band either parallel or above the head, elbows soft, drawing small circles, lead it through the fists of the hands, let it work through the arms, radiating into the shoulders. of the body again if you need to. Reverse. Notice that you're activating three aspects of the deltoid muscles of the shoulders, activating the stabilizing muscles of the shoulders, the arms, biceps, triceps. Just let the arm just gently float from side to side of the head or parallel in front of the body bring a little twist of the upper body not the pelvis that's an alternative or work several of each breathing in and out and coming back down to centre. Okay, now you're going to breathe in, bring the band parallel or high and we are going to step out with our right foot, bring the whole of the right foot down, stepping wide, soften the knees, I'm going to tilt the arms across to the right. Breathe in and out, back to centre, back with the leg. We'll just slow it down first of all. And coordinate the step out of the leg, tilt and the step back in as you come back to centre. Do two movements or four if you need. Four movements. One, two. Whole of the foot is down. We're working the abductors, adductors of the inner outer thighs, releasing a little bit more into the lats, below the shoulder blades, lateral body stretch. Come back to centre, shake it out if you need to, refresh. Okay, we're going to change the movement starting with the right leg. So we're going to breathe in and out. We're going to take the band up. We're going to step out to the right as we tilt over to the right, foot down. And then we're going to bring the leg back through centre and behind the other and tilt across to the left. Just let the breath flow, breathing in and out. Don't overthink it as long as you're breathing. And breathing in to step out and reach, breathing out to step back and across and over to the opposite side. This is too slow. Just let the breath flow. If you're sitting on a chair, you can still do the same arm movements parallel to the ground or above the head. And just step out the leg at a right angle to the side and back again. sit down good spinal twist if you need one back to center opposite side breathe in step out to the left over to the left and then taking it across and behind 
onto the toes, ball of the foot, or maybe the whole of the foot comes down each time. You determine the range of your movement depending on your joints. Let the natural flow of the core muscles, obliques. Now alternate side to side, behind, back to centre, behind, back to centre. Rest if you need to. Be aware of each position of the body. So carry on here, or I'm going to show you the modification. If you want to just bring the leg behind and bring a little twist of the upper body as you open up into the hip flexor. Or practice both. One more each side. Come back to centre, release the band. A little shake out and then just bounce. Just notice the beating of the heart, the energy rushing through the vessel of your body, blood length, or spinal twist. Great little sequence to add on after some of the other short videos, depending on what you want to work on. Come back to centre, take a deep breath in, stretch out the fingers, raise the arms either in front of the chest or above the head, breathe out, hands in front of the heart, place a smile upon your face, thank your wonderful body for moving today. Blessings.